organization cells tissues organs and organ systems levels of organization organ organisms are built on a pattern of increasing complexity there are different levels of organization where lower levels are simpler and higher levels are increasingly complex the levels of organization in multicellular organism begin with the simplest and smallest level the atom and progresses the largest and most complex level in the organism atom atom are the smallest unit of the matter that maintain the property of an element for example carbon hydrogen oxygen molecule atoms combine to form molecules which can have entirely different properties than the atoms they contain for example water protein nucleic acid organelle molecules combine in specific ways and make the subcellular level for example organelle each organelle is specialized to do a particular function for example mitochondria are responsible for cellular respiration and ribosomes are specialized for protein synthesis cell when organelles assemble and interact with each other they make cell the smallest unit with characteristics of life they can carry out life activities and can also reproduce unicellular organisms are made of only one cell while multicellular organisms are made of many cells tissue in multicellular organisms cell make tissues a tissue is a group of similar cells that work together to perform one or more specific functions examples of tissue include in animals epithelial tissue covers body surfaces and lines activities for example skin muscle tissues enables movement for example cardiac muscles in the heart in plants epidermal tissue protects the underlying underlining parts for example epidermis of leaf vascular tissue transports water and nutrients for example xylem and phloem organ an organ is a structure made of related tissues working together to perform specific functions for example examples of organs include in animals heart pumps blood through the circulatory system and lungs facilitate the gas exchange in plants leaves conduct photosynthesis and roots absorb water and nutrients from soil organ system an organ system consists of multiple organs that work together to perform related functions examples of organ system include in animals circulatory system transport nutrients and oxygen throughout the body and digestive system breaks down food and absorbs nutrients in plants root system enters of plants and absorbs water and nutrients and shoot system supports the plant and conducts photosynthesis organism organism an organism is a living entity entity that can function independently on behalf of proper functioning of its organ systems example include humans and trees emergent properties in organism the component at each level do not work solely instead they interact due to their interactions they create new functions called emergent properties these include the abilities that are present in higher level of organization but are not responsible for the individual components these are the examples of emergent properties the greek philosopher aristotle said the whole is greater than the sum of its parts from organelles to organelles to cells individual organelles have specific functions however these organelles interact within a cell they create a complex system capable of carrying out various cellular processes such as cell division protein synthesis and energy production from cells to tissues individual cells do not have properties that are present in the tissue which they make for example muscle cells combine to form muscle tissue which can contract and generate force from tissues to organs and organ performs complex function that is individual tissues cannot perform for example the heart is composed of various tissues including muscle tissue connective tissue and epithelial tissue the coordinated interaction of these tissues allow the heart to pump blood throughout the body from organs to organ systems multiple organs working together form organ systems which carry out vital functions for example the digestive system is composed of organs like the mouth esophagus stomach intestines and liver these individual organs cannot digest food but the coordinated actions of these organs enable the digestion and absorption of nutrients from organ systems to organism organisms in an individual the interaction of various organ systems bring emergent properties such as consciousness thinking and the ability to adapt to environment these complex behaviors are not present in individual organism system organ systems but arise from their coordinated interactions organs and organ systems in plants you know you know that organs are made of two or more types of tissues organized to serve a particular function organs which perform related functions work together and make an organ system organs in plants roots roots are usually found underground and toward the plants in the soil and absorb water and essential minerals from the soil roots also store nutrients that the plant uses for their growth 
roots roots enter the plants in the soil and absorb water and essential minerals from the soil roots also store nutrients that the plant uses for their growth stem stem support leaves flowers and fruits stems contain vascular tissues xylem and phloem that facilitate facilitate the movement of water minerals and nutrients between roots and leaves leaves are the primary sites of photosynthesis and transpiration transpiration in leaves is the loss of water vapor through small pores called stomata flower flower is the reproductive part of a plant it plays a crucial role in plant sexual reproduction leaf as an organ in plant leaf is a complex organ made of various related tissues the major tissues that form a leaf are epidermal tissue the outermost layer of leaf is made of epidermal tissue epidermis the upper epidermis is usually covered by waxy cuticle which reduces water loss and provides protection the lower epidermis also contains guard cells between two guard cells there are there is a tiny pore called stoma pleural stomata stomata control gas exchange and the loss of water water vapors mesophyll tissue this tissue is present between the upper and lower epidermis it consists of cells which are rich in chloroplast it is the site of photosynthesis there are two types of mesophyll in the leaf palisade mesophyll it is located just beneath the upper epidermis it consists of tightly packed elongated cells spongy mesophyll it is present below the pal- palisade mesophyll it is composed of loosely arranged cells with air spaces between them these air spaces facilitate the diffusion of gases throughout the leaf vascular tissue this tissue is located in the mid rib and veins of leaf it is called a complex tissue because it consists of two tissues xylem tissue and phloem tissue the xylem tissue of leaf conducts water and minerals from the xylem of stem to leaf cells Phloem tissue transport the product of photosynthesis from leaf cells to the phloem of the stem. Organ systems in plants. An organ system consists of organs that work together to perform essential functions. Unlike animals, plants are a stationary organ organism, so their organ systems are less complex. Plants have two main organ systems: the root system and the shoot system. The root system consists of roots which anchor the plant in the soil. Roots also absorb water and salt. needed from soil and in some cases store food the shoot system includes stems branches leaves and flowers and fruits formed in from flowers these organs work to enable processes like photosynthesis and reproduction organs and organ systems in humans organs in human body various organs are present in human body each with specific function here are few of the most important organs heart The heart is a muscular organ that pumps blood throughout the body. It is essential for delivering oxygen and nutrients to cells and removing waste products. Lungs, the lungs are responsible for breathing. It facilitates the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between the body and environment. Brain, the brain is, is the control center of the body. It is responsible for coordination among the other organs, thinking and decision making. Liver the liver performs many vital functions including filtering blood producing bile and storing glucose kidneys the kidneys are responsible for filtering waste products from the blood and producing urine stomach the stomach is a muscular organ that breaks down food using digestive enzymes intestines the intestines are long tubular organs that digest food and absorb nutrients from the digested food pancreas the pancreas produces digestive enzymes it also produces hormones such as insulin and glucagon so stomach as an organ stomach is an important organ of the digestive system it is responsible for the partial digestion of proteins it also stores food it is composed of the following tissues epithelial tissue the inner wall is made of epithelial tissue it is glandular stuck in nature and secretes is mucus the mucus lines in the inner wall and protects it from acid this tissue also secretes gastric juice that contains enzyme pepsi pepsinogen from protein digestion and hydrochloric acid for activating pepsi pepsinogen to pepsin enzyme connective tissue it lies beneath epithelial tissue it provides structural support and contains blood vessels nerves and lymphatic lymphatics muscle tissue there are three layers of smooth muscles the outer longitudinal layer the middle circular layer and the inner oblique layer these muscle contracts and relax to mix food with the gastric juice outer connective tissue it is the outermost layer that encircles the stomach and supports it organ system in human body here are few examples of organ system skeletal muscle it consists of bones cartilage and tendons it provides structure support and product 
protection to the body it serves as a framework for the muscles to attach allowing movements it also stores minerals and produces blood cells digestive system it consists of organs such as mouth esophagus stomach small intestine and large intestine this system is responsible for the digestion of food and the absorption of digested food respiratory system it includes the lungs trachea windpipe and bronchi this system is involved in the exchange of gases oxygen and carbon dioxide between the body and the environment muscular tissue it includes skeletal muscles which attach to bones these muscles contract to move bones it allows the movement and locomotion in the body nervous system it includes brain spinal cord and nerves the nerve system coordinates and controls body functions through nerve impulses blood circulatory system it includes a heart blood vessels arteries veins and capillaries and blood this system transport oxygen nutrients hormones and waste products throughout the body homeostasis the organ and organ system of the body work in coordination to maintain a stable internal environment it is called homeostasis homeostasis is defined as the ability of an organism to maintain a stable internal envir- environment of the body despite changes in the external environment examples of homeostasis include regulating the temperature blood pressure blood sugar and ph levels importance of homeostasis homeostasis play a vital role in the supporting overall health and well being for for example each cell is a sophisticated machine that plays a precise role within the body this pro- the proper functioning of cell is possible only when extra cellular conditions such as temperature ph and the concentrations of salt glucose and oxygen are kept in normal range when we do that hard work our muscles produce heat that raises the body temperature in such situations the temperature regulating center in the brain send message to sweat glands as a result sweating occurs and the temperature of the body falls to normal when the body temperature forms falls the temperature regulatory center send messages to mucus as a result shivering occurs to generate heat body temperature falls below 37 degree centigrade muscles start shivering shivering generates heat body temperature rises to 37 degree centigrade body temperature rises above 37 degree centigrade sweat glands secrete sweat as the sweat evaporates heat is lost from the body body temperature falls to 37 degree centigrade when we drink juice blood glucose level rises in this situation pancreas releases a hormone insulin in blood this hormone lowers the blue blood glucose level to normal when we do hard exercise our muscles need more oxygen in such condition the rate of breathing and heartbeat are increased accelerated breathing and heartbeat supply more oxygen and food to the muscles for continuous work role of organ system in homeostasis is several organ system work together for homeostasis for example nervous system and endocrine system regulate and coordinate activities such as heart rate respiration and metabolism they also respond to changes in the environment respiratory system ensures that the body receives enough oxygen for cellular respiration it also expels excess carbon dioxide from the body cardiovascular system plays a role in the regulating body temperature and ph levels it also ensures that all cells receive the necessary substances for proper functions digestive system works for proper distribution of nutrients to cell for energy growth and repair muscular and skeletal systems help to maintain body posture support and movement urinary system eliminates waste materials from the body it also regulates water and salt balance in body tissues in this way it maintains blood volume blood pressure and ph levels integumentary system acts as a barrier to protect the body from external factors it also helps to regulate temperature throughout the regulated temperature through sweating organelles are the subunits of a cell that perform distinct functions a tissue is a group of similar cells that work together to perform a specific function organs are structured made up of more than one type of tissues having related functions that work together an organ system is a collection of different organs that work together to perform a related function the smooth muscles of stom- stomach help in the breakdown of food mesophyll tissue is present in leaf it cells contain chloroplast it is the site of photosynthesis xylem and phloem are the vascular tissues responsible for transporting water and nutrients homeostasis is defined as the body ability to maintain a relatively stable internal environment despite the changes in the external environment organ systems work together for homeostasis